tell you guys how to start coloring a portrait. So ideally you've got your color wheel, uh, so we're going to talk about some color things right now that are pretty important. Uh, let's just imagine, I mean I know that a lot of you have colored pencil sets that have lots of different options on them, but let's imagine that you've really only got those colors, let's say 12 or so uh, colored pencils, and maybe black, and maybe white and gray. And all those, by the way, white actually does matter for us, because it, it is useful. Um, the back of the color wheel is what I want to look at right now, because skin tones, most of them, uh, fall into these kind of categories, somewhere between red and yellow. Uh, and I know that brown is not on here, but dark orange eventually turns into a brown. So that's kind of what we're talking about here, too. Uh, and if you go dark red orange, it'll turn into uh, a more african-american skin tone or islander skin tone so uh, those are the kind of things that we're we're looking at here if you just have red orange and yellow as your colored pencils you can still make a skin tone it helps if you have uh, white as well because adding that white is gonna uh, lighten up a little bit of the color but the nice thing about coloring on paper is that you add white just by leaving some of the paper visible. So instead of scribbling really hard and making the color cover every inch of the page, if you just color lightly, then a little bit of the colored pencil comes off and the white page still shows through and you, you actually automatically create what's called a tint of your color. Adding white makes it a tint. So what we're gonna do is, uh, see I've, I've got all these extra little uh, skin tone color pencils that uh, all together kind of can do most skin tones um, but let's just assume you don't all right now if you have a skin tone color pencil that's great uh, you want to pick the one that's closest to the colors of the skin there's several colors in skin it's not just one color it, it changes from a little bit pinkish to a little bit yellow orange to uh, sometimes almost a dark brown even on even on white faces so um, you want to be careful that you don't just do one color and say, oh, okay, I'm done. But really think about where all the different colors are on a person's face. Um, typically, around the eyes uh, and on the nose and on the lips, there's a lot more red than on any other part of the face. The ears also have lots of red on them as well. Um, and there's almost a, a bluish uh, coloration around from the jaw all the way across the nose and down. That, that makes the skin kind of come out in that way too. And it's just the nature of the fact that skin actually is a little bit see-through. And so we can see the, the tissue and the muscles and the, and the blood underneath, which is what gives it that um, unique look. Nothing else quite looks just like skin. So uh, what we're gonna do is, is be really gentle about how we add colors in here. Now, I'm not gonna change the drawing at all, uh, just so that you can see where I'm adding things. But when you're coloring yours, you might actually want to go back and erase a little bit so that things are not quite as dark where you've got that color, that uh, pencil markings, because it's going to definitely show through a lot stronger when you have your colored pencil color laid down there. So, what we'll do first is do this. Um, yellow is a, is a pretty good general color uh, to do a face, so is orange. Right, so it depends on how dark the skin color is for the person that you're drawing, uh, what you want to put on there first. My niece is pretty light skinned, so we're going to use yellow, but we're not going to color it in dark. We're going to use the side of the pencil, not the tip, the side of the pencil, and very gently go over the whole thing. So gently that you might not even really be able to see it on the video right now. Right, and I'm not going to color it in very close. Uh, I'll do a little bit more gradual shading here, or gradual gradations of it. Uh, I'm not going to color in the lips uh, as much, but I am going to go over them. I'm not going to go over the whites of the eyes, and I'm not for right now going to go over the hair except for where her hair parts up there, because that's where some skin's going to show through. Uh, I'm also not going to go over her teeth, obviously, because the teeth are going to remain pretty white, not completely white, or else it's going to look really weird. And then her neck, obviously, is going to get some of that same color treatment as the rest of her face. So, very light shading of yellow. I'm going to put that aside and now do that orange. Now, the orange is going to go 
even lighter than the yellow, right? And putting those together kind of gives you a peach color. I'm gonna go the other direction, actually. Putting those together kind of gives you a peach color that we're gonna use as the base of her skin tone. Maybe you can see it right now, maybe you can't. I don't know how good the video quality is right now, but it's starting, because your eye is gonna put that orange and that yellow together, and it's gonna start to get a little bit of a peach color. The same thing. Now you would wanna do it kinda of more gently and slowly. I'm running out of time a little bit here, so I'm gonna go a little faster. So, yeah, again, I can barely see that on my page. It's not a lot at all. And for the red, it's the same thing. I'm not gonna do it everywhere. I'm only gonna put the red where she's got a little bit more pink on her face. Uh, and for her, that means putting more red uh, on the sides of her face, right under her hair, right under here, there's this bone structure that comes up from the center of your eyebrow. She's got some red that comes out from the side of there. Some red in between her eyebrows and her eyes. Typically a lot more red there. And there's red sort of up under her cheeks here a little bit. Right up under there. On the sides of her nose. And again, you can see how lightly I'm, I'm coloring here. It's barely any color at all. The sides of her cheeks have some red. Uh, looks like under her neck here. The neck's also an area that gets a lot more color on it, a lot more red um, than maybe the rest of the face does sometimes. Definitely the sides of her nose. And all the way up to her eyes. Can you see already the the color? I haven't added any shading, there's no darkness or anything on the side of the nose, but just that color change gives us a really good indication of where that the bridge of her nose is. So that's gonna be useful in making it look realistic. There's some under her eyes too, on both sides. Okay, and that, that's gonna be enough for me for right now. The next thing I'm going to do is go a little bit darker with this kind of reddish brown. If you just have a, a regular brown color, I think this is actually just brown, so that works out just fine. Uh, just on a few spots. So I'm going to actually go color her lips a little bit brown. They're not actually brown, they're reddish, but this will darken the red that I put on top of her lips. So I'm going to leave a little spot there where her lips are shiny with the light. And then I'm going to go back over them with that red just a little bit more. And it's going to end up looking more like that lip color. Can we see that? Uh, now, instead of using black for shadows, I'm going to use blue because our skin colors do have a lot of blue in them, and I think you'll see that when we start to shade her face. So I'll go back in here, and where there are shadows, I'm gonna start out by adding a little blue instead of, and again, really, really, really light, instead of adding black. And we're gonna like that look a lot better than if it were just black. She's got a little shadow under her eye here, not a lot. Here, there's some shadows. Looks like she's got makeup on right now, which is definitely not the case. She is six years old, so no makeup for her. Uh, but it's gonna look a lot more balanced here when I get some cheeks filled in with some blue. Here we go. And there's a, a shadow under her nose. We'll have a little shadow right there where the light comes down on top. There's a shadow on this bottom side of her nose too. Same thing. Let 
very little shadows over here. And on the side of her face, this, these cheeks are making some pretty pronounced shadows because she's got such a big smile. Such a big smile over here. So those, those shadows I need to show up even bigger. Again, I'm not going to darken it too much. I don't want her face to turn blue. That would not be great. I do want to have a little bit of color in those shadows before I start adding black to them or gray. Okay, 